Hello Internet, my name is Quinn and this is Blondie Hacks. So today we're doing a great beginner milling machine project. We're going to make this little drip tray. Uh, it's going to give us a chance to talk about some basic machining techniques on the vertical mill. Uh, I'm using this to catch drips on my electric steam boiler, but you can make it any size and maybe you'll find a place for this in your life. Okay, let's dive in. So we're going to start with some brass stock that's a cut on the bandsaw, a little oversized. And we're going to mill all the edges with an end mill. I'm using a two flute half inch end mill here. Soft materials like brass and aluminum do well with a two flute mill because they uh, need a little extra room to clear those chips. And my end mill is a little too narrow for this piece, so I'm going to wind in the Y axis there and do another pass back the other way. using the power feed here just to get a nice consistent surface finish. All right, looking good. Nice and smooth. So now we can do the other sides. All right, now we're going to use our edge finder to zero our DRO. Once that bumps over, we found the edge. Now we're all centered up, a little more WD-40, and we're going to start milling out the center cavity. And I'm using a half inch two flute center cutting end mill, which allows you to plunge into material. Still not great to do with end mills, but uh, in a case like this you can do it. And then once I'm down, maybe 40 thousandths, then I'm going to start doing a pass along the side there. And then I'm going to mill all the way on one axis until my TRO says I'm right at the edge. A little sanity check here. It's looking good. And we're going to go back the other way. And again, we're going to go back until the TRO says I'm right at the spot where I want the inside edge of the cavity to be. And I'm going to finish up by hand as I get close to the line. Don't want to trust the power feed for this. Okay, so now I just keep going back and forth, going down a little further each time. I'm doing 50 thou passes here. And once I get to full depth on one, uh, one slot here like this, then I can start milling out the sides of the cavity. And the reason that we're doing it this way is because it allows us to control when we're standard milling and when we're climb milling. So I'm doing the sort of south facing edge first uh, because I want to make sure that I'm uh, conventional milling here, not climb milling. And then when we go to do the far side, we're going to go the other direction. So for this work, each pass, I'm winding back. I'm not milling back and forth. And then when I get into the corner here, again, using my DRO and feeding by hand, just to get a nice corner radius in there. And then the far side is milled the other way, again, so that we're conventional milling and not climb milling. And you can see I've got the cavity kind of filled with WD-40 there, just to kind of serve as flood coolant. And then once again, winding in carefully to get the final result. And then we just got around those outside corners. We're going to do that the old fashioned way, starting with a 10 inch double cut bastard file. Now, notice the technique. I'm actually dropping the handle of the file on each stroke, and that's carving the opposite curve that I want the corner to have, which is counterintuitive, but it actually gives you a nicer result when filing corners. And uh, I'm finishing up here with a 10 inch single cut mill file. And just keep going until I match the radius on the inside corner and do the rest of the corners and we are all done. And here's the final result. As you can see, I'm using it to catch drips on my electric steam boiler's blowdown valve, but you can use yours for whatever you like. It's really just an excuse to practice your skills on the vertical mill. Thanks for watching.